Hello, everybody, and welcome to Revisiting Disney. This is the series in which uh, you guys pick an attraction here at Walt Disney World, and I play uh, Imagineer for a day and talk about how I would refurbish or replace or completely redo the ride in a new and interesting way. Uh, today, you guys have decided to go for another very uh, beloved attraction, which I'm sure is going to get me in some hot water. Uh, of course, we are here in the Magic Kingdom at the Haunted Mansion. Now, if, you've, uh, if you're new to this series, basically, it's just a fun game of what if. It's just a fun creative exercise. I don't actually want to see certain attractions change in certain ways. Sometimes I do. Uh, but I think in the case of the Haunted Mansion, these, this is just a, a fun game uh, just to throw some ideas out there. Now, I was trying to think of ways to sort of uh, refurbish the Haunted Mansion because, again, with attractions like these, you can't change it too much. Otherwise, it sort of defeats the purpose of the series. You know, if I were to replace this with a completely different attraction, well, then I'm just designing an attraction from scratch, right? So it's got to sort of stick to the Haunted Mansion theme. And what I ended up with, rather than like one grand idea for what I would change, is uh, three very small ideas, or I guess three medium-sized ideas, uh, that vary in how realistic they would be to pull off. Now, the first of them I would like to think is the most practical idea, and this is the idea that came to me when I was trying to think of what I seriously disliked about the Haunted Mansion and would like to see changed, and what I would tell, you know, the Imagineers if they ever came to me and seriously asked me, uh oh, I'm stuck, um, what I think they should do to improve the attraction. So this is the most minor of the changes for the attraction, but it's the one that I think is most realistic and the one I would like to see come to fruition the most. So when I think of the two areas of the Haunted Mansion that I dislike the most or feel like could use the most work, the two areas that come to mind are the M.C. Escher Endless Staircase Room towards the beginning of the attraction and the graveyard scene towards the end of the attraction. The M.C. Escher scene, I think, doesn't click for me because I feel like that's still the early half of the ride when it's trying to be a genuinely scary haunted mansion and the sort of scares that they use for that half of the attraction are a more grounded reality, right? You're in this creepy mansion, there are dead bodies, it's really dark, things are banging on the doors. It is it is ghost-related, but it is a very, I think, grounded form of, of ghost-related, right? Whereas the MC Escher thing is very trippy. It, you know, breaks the laws of physics. It, it It's creepy in a whole other manner, which isn't bad, but I think thematically it just doesn't fit with the first half of the attraction. So I'd want to replace that with something, you know, creepier. I think, you know, it, it's a step up in terms of entertainment from the giant spider web that was there previously. Uh, but I think they could put something there that's just a little darker and, and genuinely scarier. As for the graveyard scene, I think the flaw there is just that there's so much going on. And I guess some people could argue that that's uh, to its benefit, that there's always something to see when you look there. But I think it, it sort of makes it a little too, too confusing, a little too cluttered for my taste at least and I feel like if they took that scene and keep it fun keep it lighthearted. at this point they're singing grim grinning ghosts it's a, it's a it's a more fun ride but I think if they sort of streamlined it a little bit so it focused on fewer elements that were uh more of a focus rather than just having so much stuff packed into that one room now that's sort of the boring way I'd revisit the attraction. It's, it's I think, a little more grounded. It's a little more doable. Um, but I still have two other ideas that I think one of them is is more realistic on the spectrum in terms of whether or not it'd be possible to do. And I think um, the other would be just sort of way out there and it's not really plausible, but I think it'd be a fun idea to consider. And the more realistic one, I'll actually save for last because I think that one's kind of cool. So I think the more unrealistic idea that I would have for the Haunted Mansion is to give it sort of a B-mode that would take place on certain nights or certain parts of the day where uh, it reverts from being this Omnimover attraction to a walking tour. Now, uh, I think part of the reason that this would be cool is in my personal experience or in my opinion, I think a walking tour is far scarier than an Omni Mover ride, and I think part of that is maybe this sort of mental gymnastics of if you're in an Omni Mover uh, ride system, you're not going to feel as at risk you know you know you're safe you're on these tracks it's going to run through it's not going to stop or do anything crazy it's sort of predictable and that doesn't make it a bad thing uh but i think it does take away from some of the fear that you would get from a walking tour 
So I think getting people walking through the Haunted Mansion could be a way of making it a lot scarier, especially if you go back to sort of some of the things they did uh, way early in the attraction. You know, for a while, they actually hired actors dressed as ghosts and things to sort of wander around the attraction and this is back when it was an omni mover you know it's always been an omni mover attraction but even then they were able to get actors involved who would like reach out and grab you uh and they eventually pulled it because they thought it was too scary and i think it'd be really cool to have that sort of super scary mode now the reason i don't think this is plausible is one it's not going to get a lot of people through the attraction per hour which is sort of a big thing for disney is they want people to get through there and and they want to get as many people on it as possible and two, I think with an Omni Mover system, if you once you introduce walking through it, the problem is it, the magic is sort of exposed, and it becomes a lot easier to see what's going on behind the scenes. And that just—it's not only not scary; it just goes in the whole opposite direction and makes it feel so much more safe. So I think striking a balance between an Omni Mover attraction that's sort of the scary haunted mansion, along with a version that you could walk through that's equally scary, is not really plausible. But I think it'd be a cool thing to play around with and imagine. Now, the other idea I have that's, I think, a little more plausible that involves keeping it an Omnimover attraction, that involves um, just sort of re-theming the, the scenes in the, the attraction, would be to sort of introduce a lot of new and recognizable ghosts, right? Isn't the, the, the prospect of the Haunted Mansion that, you know, famous haunts from around the world retire here and it's got 999 ha happy haunts and, you know, there's always room for a thousand. Wouldn't it be cool if we recognize some of them? You know, they could either be famous figures from history that I think it'd be funny to see ghosts and ghost form. Or it could be, you know, if you want to tie it in, you could tie it into ghost characters from Disney properties, whether it's, you know, like Davy Jones or the Headless Horseman, things like that. Um, or, you know, like I said, get some famous get some famous figures in there, historical figures that it would be, you know, you could either have as in there in a very creepy way, whether you want to cover the first half of the attraction or in a very comical way during the second half of the attraction. Um, and then you've got such like a huge opportunity for what ghosts you can put in there, you know, where you can slip in those references and it does sort of take away from the originality of the attraction, but I think it'd be a cool way of, I don't know, maintaining the sort of tone throughout the attraction, keeping it scary in the first half, funny in the second half, keeping it an Omni Mover ride, keeping it a haunted mansion, but still adding something new that, you know, will give people um, a reason to go and re-ride it and check out all of these new figures and... Um, it's just sort of a way to breathe new life into it, I guess. Um, in any case, that's just how I would revisit the Haunted Mansion. You know, three different ideas on three different levels of um, realism there. Uh, I think aside from that first one, I don't think these are changes I'd really want to see happen. But I think it'd be interesting to explore those ideas and see, you know, what you could do. Because I do believe that a ride like the Haunted Mansion is not... Um, I don't think it's it's safe from being revisited or being refurbished. I don't think any attraction at Disney World should be untouched forever. And so I think, you know, it'd be cool to talk about what we could do with the Haunted Mansion. Anyway, I'd love to hear what you think uh, of these ideas, whether you love them or you hate them, whether you have grander ideas for the Haunted Mansion or you just think it needs to stay untouched forever. Let me know in the comments below. And more importantly, if there's an attraction you would like to see me revisit, let me know in the comments below because uh, like this one here today, it was picked based on what you guys wanted to see. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at Rob Plays. And I hope to see you next time for the next episode of Revisiting Disney. Bye, everybody.